I've been testing out this Dream Machine app, and I've got to say, it's pretty awesome. This allows me to create AI art and videos wherever I am. I've tested it out in cafes while I was out at the park. You can use it while you're on public transport waiting for the next train. You can even use it while you're on a boat or while you're on a flight. It's pretty cool to be able to create on the go and while having it all in your pocket. So let's have a look and test out some of the features. They have also updated their website, which we'll have a look at later. Now, just a note, this is only for iOS at the moment, but hopefully they will expand in the future. So just make sure to download the app from the App Store. And here are the plans that you can get. They do have a free plan, so definitely use that just to check it out. Once you've logged in, you will see this page. So this page is showing all the recent projects that I've been working on, and you can choose to delete these boards whenever you want. When you first open the app, it will have some preloaded projects that you can open and experiment with. Then if you click on the plus button at the bottom, it will show you three random ideas. So here it's given us three different boards to play around with. This is pretty cool as it will just give you some ideas if you are struggling to think of anything. You can go back and press the plus icon again to generate three new ideas. So I'm going to try out this middle one with the camera pulls out. And as you can see, it's doing its thing in the background. All right, so it's given us two results. This video has given us a really nice, fast kind of zoom out shot. And it looks great. And the second video is a bit slower. And I think it looks really nice. Then, as you can see on the bottom, you have modify, extend, and more like this. So we'll go into these. So if you click on modify, what Modify does, it allows you to change aspects of that video or image. So for this one, I'll put in it's nighttime and raining, and hopefully it should create a similar shot, but with those changes that I added into the prompt. So this is great at sculpting your prompt if your first attempt wasn't quite what you were looking for. Now these look pretty good. It's, um, it's not quite nighttime, but it's getting there. This one I think looks really nice. It's got that kind of golden hour look to the shot and it's just a really nice smooth animation. Then if you pressed the curved arrow icon, that will repeat the prompt. So I'll choose to repeat that prompt to see if I get any better outputs. And I think this is closer to what I was looking for. The first video is a bit weird as it's added in all these flowers coming across the screen, but the second video has nailed that nighttime transition, which I wanted from that first modify prompt. So that is awesome. It hasn't added the rain, but I could probably modify it again to add rain. Now I'm going to try extend. So if you click on the extend button, and then if you click on the little star icon, it will come up with all these different options from formats, to camera motion, to shots, to camera angles, to different styles, different lighting, and playback. So if you click on these, it will add it to the prompt. So having these presets available just saves time and can give you some really cool ideas for generating different kinds of shots. So as you can see, it's extended the video and it looks awesome. So that's a great technique on getting your videos to be longer. Now let's try adding in a custom prompt. So I've clicked on the plus and then click on the show me and type in whatever you want into the prompt. So for this one, I've put give me ideas for a unique character for a children's illustrated story. And then it gives you a bunch of ideas for that character, all in different styles. So I've got Gizmo the Inventor, Luna the Moon Cat, Pip the Time Traveler, Flora the Forest Fairy, and Zara the Zookeeper. So I've clicked on Zara the Zookeeper and it adds in this prompt of generate Zara the Zookeeper, a young girl communicating with animals in an educational storybook style, friendly, engaging, and colorful. So it's added in that prompt all on its own. So it's given me four different images, all within a similar children's illustrative style, and they look really good. Now I'll try a different prompt. So what I'll do, a model posing in a photo shoot, and it's given me four different images. You'll notice there are some keywords that are circled in the prompt. And if you hold one of those words, then it will give you a list of some different keywords to use, which is a really neat touch, as it may give you an idea that you never thought of. If you want to generate more ideas, then definitely check out the brainstorm option. So if we click on that, it will start to think, and it will generate loads of different ideas based on the initial prompt and images. 
So it's broken it up into different kind of styles and it gives you a really broad range of different options, which is perfect if you feel like you're kind of stuck in a kind of creative rut and you want to try something completely different. So these are a set of some new images that it's created. So I like this image and I'll click more like this and it should generate images that are very similar to that image. So it's created four different images, but with that same aesthetic and the location looks very similar. This is perfect if you want some variety from that shot, but not to change it too much. Now let's try turning one of these images into a video. So I quite like this one. So all you have to do is click make video at the bottom and it will add that frame into the bottom prompt. Then I'll click on the star icon and I'll choose one of the camera moves. So I'll choose camera push in and let's see what it made. I'm very happy with that. The motion on the fabric looks incredible and it's managed to keep consistency throughout the video as well. Yeah, I'm very, very impressed. And to be able to create this all from your phone on the go, wherever you are, is just the cherry on top. Now I'll show you an example of having a start frame and an end frame. And for this video, I tried two very different images. So I've got this image of a mushroom figure. And for the second image, I've got a still frame of Jack Nicholson in The Shining. And the transition it creates are pretty insane. It's very seamless. And yeah, from two very different images, it's created a really unique video. So make sure to play around with the start and the end frames for some really unique transitions. And I even experimented with taking a photo of myself and using that as a reference. So you just have to add in the image of yourself then choose the reference option. And then I added in the style of 3D animation. And then it created these images of me in a 3D style. Now it doesn't quite look like me 100%, but you can definitely see some similarities. Now I'm guessing the more photos you can give it in reference mode, the more accurate it will make the likeness of the character. I think you can add up to four images in your prompt. They have also updated their website and it's pretty much the same as the mobile app version. So it will make switching from mobile to desktop really easy. It's a bit easier to see all of your projects on the website as you've got a bit more space. Whatever you create on your mobile app will be transferred to the website version, which is pretty awesome. So that's a brief overview of the app. And I hope you can see just how cool and powerful it is to have this kind of software in your pocket. I'll make sure to leave a link to it down below. So definitely give it a try. If you liked this video, feel free to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. And if you would like to watch any of our other videos, feel free to click the image you can see on screen. Thanks for watching.